Hello, everyone. I'm here. I'm running a little bit behind. So welcome. Welcome to the show. It is Thursday. I am here. Now I'm just going to wait for the usual suspects to start watching. There's one. Hello to my grandmother. Hello. I'm like a minute behind. I just went and filled my gas tank up for $1.99 before they closed. So I thought it was going to be late. So welcome, welcome. I'm just waiting for a few more people. Genesis, hello. Daniel Payton, hello. Tyler. Allie. Hello, Allie. Oh, that's right. So I'm, I almost forgot. I'm also broadcasting for the first time on an old Facebook page that I haven't been on in like years, literally years. So hopefully we'll see some different people come on from that Facebook profile that I haven't used in forever. So what is up, everyone? It's Thursday. I really don't feel like doing anything. I'm a bum today. I'm being lazy. What is everyone up to? Someone's got to be up to something here. Anybody? Oh, we're still missing a couple of people. Let me just do some tagging here so we can get more people. My sisters, well, one of my sisters always complains that she never catches the show and that I should send her a reminder every time. Now, I sent her a reminder, but she didn't get it back to me. Who else do we have? Genesis is drinking wine and watching me. That sounds... I wish I was doing that. I just, I'm drinking tea. That's all I'm drinking. So I would love to be drinking wine right now. So have a sip two or three for me, Genesis. I love wine. So... It does feel like a Friday. I absolutely agree. Hello to my aunt. I just seen you come in. Hello, hello. So, wow, we got some low numbers. Well, it's been a rather interesting week for me, to say the least. Um, but got over that, so... So only Genesis is doing something right now? What is Allie doing? What is my grandmother doing besides watching me? Because I'm pretty sure most of you are multitasking at this very moment. So I would hope that you sit there and watch me for the whole hour. But uh, Daniel has been busy working on a story for the game that he works for. That's got to be very interesting to, is it a video game or, I remember you talking about it, but I can't remember if it was a video game or not. Nikki Jones, hello to my cousin. Hello, hello. I'm pretty sure George is somewhere is around the corner watching.
Me, I have, like I said, not been doing anything. Uh, the only thing I have been doing is working. I've had the last two days off. So yesterday and today I had off. I have to work the weekend. The weather is supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be in the high 60s. But I think most of those are going to be rainy up here, unfortunately. So hello, George. So, yeah. So that's pretty much all I have been doing. So I am hoping for the lift of the um, stay-at-home order falls away come May 18th for Massachusetts, I hope, because I really need my hair cut. And I would like to be able to travel places. So, yep. Doesn't it suck, Nikki? You got to work the weekend. The weather is supposed to be nice. That's usually how it happens. My day off, it's been gloomy and rainy today. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be nice. But I got to work 1 to 7. So that's pretty much my entire day. Gone. Absolutely gone. Anybody else? Is anyone... Um, I, do, I don't think I've asked this question before, so I'm kind of running out of things to watch. I don't know if people are watching anything, so let me know if you are Netflixing or you're watching something on Hulu, Disney Plus. What What's everyone watching? So let me know because I'm like literally running out of things to watch. TV sucks too. So, hello to my sister, uh, Heather. Hello to Heather Scrivens as well. Welcome. Late, but you're here, right? So, so yeah. So, the question is, is what is everyone watching? Are you binge watching something? Are you watching something for the first time? Tyler, Trailer Park Boys, or Letter Kenny? I think I've seen that. I'm not sure. My aunt likes the Discovery Channel and the History Channel. So do I. So she has been watching Lost, Lost Gold of World War II, which I think I'm going to get into tonight. Um, yeah. Penny Dreadful. I've never seen that. Maybe I should watch that. Um, Nikki's also watching the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on Disney Plus. So, yeah, she's got kids, but that's probably not the real reason. She, her, and George are probably enjoying watching that. So, I can see that. I'm gonna have to find out what this Letter Kenny thing is. If someone can let me know what that is. Heather Scrivens is watching 48 Hours. That's a good show. So. Well, I don't know what it is, Heather, so maybe I will have to uh, watch that. So. Yep. I'm just waiting for all these new shows to start. I need something to watch. But this COVID crap is like delaying everything. So there's a lot of shows that I want like to return. Hello. I'd like to finish watching you, but whatever. So I'm finding that I'm watching things that I thought I would never be interested in or want to watch ever. I love it. So, Bering Sea Gold. Yep, that's an, that's another good one. Yep. Mm. So, 90 Day Fiance.
Mm. Yeah, I'll have to start watching that too. I have been watching. This is how sad it is. So I have been watching uh, Mama June from uh, Not to Hot. I don't know if anyone else watches that show or knows what it is. I have been watching that show. So, yeah, that's how bad things have gotten. So. Yep. Adam's Family is another good one. I like those movies. Yep. So, mm, interesting. So, I smartened up. I don't know if anyone saw my post from earlier today. So, because of last week's mishap uh, with my video being taken apart and thrown all over the internet, um, I smartened up and I copyrighted <laughs> My name and my videos, my website, any logos, pretty much anything that falls under the Brian Shepard show, I have copyrighted. So you cannot use my videos or anything that's mine without my permission. So I kind of wanted to protect myself. So I did that. Yep, that I did. You know who I'm missing? I am missing my sister Kayla. That's who I've been missing. And that's kind of cute. Yes. Oh, and also I have a disclaimer now that I guess I'm going to have to um, pretty much say in my show at any point. So if you don't like what I have to say, then don't watch my video. So I may say something that may be funny to me, but not to you. So you're more than welcome to tell me that it wasn't funny, but just be warned. I'm going to say whatever the hell I want. So you can kiss my ass. Let's just put it that way. So, but anyways, so I did that. So I'm very proud of myself. So it's not cheap either. <laughs> so, but yeah. So there's that. Yes, I'm very proud of myself, Nikki. So, yeah. And I haven't been sleeping. I don't know about anybody else, but for some reason I, I'm having a hard time sleeping. So I'm not going to bed until like, two three o'clock in the morning i'm sleeping until 9 30 almost 10 because there's nothing to do so i'm like so tired right now and i'm doing my show but uh yeah Unbelievable. What is she doing? How dare she miss my show? They get pissed because... Well, their loss. So anyways... All right, what else did I have to talk about? What else did I want to talk about? Oh, good. That better be my sister. Yep. Oh, okay. Well... There's Ashley. Where's the other one? I just called her. But anyways. So anyways. Oh my goodness. 
Where is my sister? Well, they must be watching somewhere else. So, oh, Dan, you're going to go live again. You know, I really do enjoy those lives, by the way, Dan. So I don't know if anyone else has been watching, and I hope you've been watching his live videos because normally he goes live every Friday. I think it's around, what, 8, 9 o'clock maybe. And Dan here will usually read a chapter from one of his books uh, and take questions, you know, about writing or his books or anything like that, um, which is pretty cool. So I usually do watch them. I like getting involved. Especially when the character's me, it is it is nice to watch. So, And people are commenting and saying how they like the book and they can't wait to read it, whatever. So it kind of makes me feel special. So there's Kayla. Hello. Hello to Ashley. Yep. Late. Sad. Really sad that I got to send you people reminders of my show. It's the same day every week at the same time. No excuses. Mondays and Fridays. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just Fridays. You do forget. Hello, pay attention. Oh, hold on. I need my jelly beans. Oh, I almost forgot. Dan, I got to put your people away. Unfortunately, uh, Easter is over. And yeah. To him over there. So, anyways. So, Dan is expanding it so it won't take a year to get through the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't blame you, but uh, you could turn it into a show for a whole year. That's what I do. I do, a, well, I don't do a whole year. I take December off, but. I didn't buy any candy. I haven't been going out. I've been staying in the house. I really don't like going out. I don't go I don't like going into the stores. People are for some reason in rare form to the point where you want to throat punch <laughs> everyone that comes close to you in the store because how nasty they are. Shoppers are getting nasty. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this. Well, I work with the public, so I deal with it five days a week, but I'm noticing it like when I'm not working. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Well, people are buying, they're going to Walmart, they're going to Ocean State. There's a lot more people because right now, Vermont, you can't buy non-essential items in any store. They're all coming down here because our Walmart and Ocean State and all that, we're selling everything pretty much. There's no restrictions on anything. So uh, I know that my job, we have surpassed last year's sales for the past month and then some our store is in the plus the green why because everyone's buying grills and fire pits and outdoor furniture and so we're also wasting that stimulus check too well buy whatever you want i don't care but it's like come on you guys don't really need all that stuff why don't you wait but People are anxious. People want to do stuff. So I kind of get it. 
but still, people are awful. Well, my store is swapped. It's finally gotten to the point where we actually have someone standing at the door counting people as they come in because we only can have, I think it's 89 people in the store. And on some days, there's at least 60 to 65 people already in the store. So to me, I'm sorry, that's a lot of people. But whatever. And yeah, no, no toilet paper either. You can't find toilet paper in most stores. You're over here having your own conversation. You're not even paying attention to my show. What are you doing? Stop chit-chatting. Call each other on the phone after my show. Hello. <laughs> it's getting to the point where you can't find hamburger anymore, let alone toilet paper. So my store only has hand sanitizer. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. We have hand sanitizer. We have paper towels. We do have disinfectant spray. However, it's not Lysol or whatever. It's not a neighbor. It's Zep. I think that's what it's called. So wipes, disinfecting wipes, any other sprays. We don't have any of that crap. So... Yeah, I, I don't know what it is it, because, it, again, we're panicking again because first it was we're going to have to stay home. We're going to have to isolate ourselves. Not sure for how long. Blah, 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 blah. Bye, bye, bye. Everyone buys everything. We hoard everything. Then now there's nothing left. So they're struggling to – they're still making the stuff, but it's very hard. And now you're restricted. You can only buy so much, blah, 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 whatever. So then all of a sudden – uh-oh, the meat industry is, like, not failing. We got people sick, not sure. We got closing meat plants. I don't know about you, but I would still love to have bacon. So, at least once during the pandemic. So, now that everyone's, like, buying meat. So, I've been lucky. I... I don't know about anybody else. If you're around in my area, uh, Adams Market here in uh, Adams has been absolutely fantastic. So, so far, so good. We've been able to have hamburger because Brian had to have meatloaf for dinner tonight. So that's what I hate. So... Brian, what do you plan on doing on your days off? Is that a question? Um, I don't plan on doing anything on my days off. I had yesterday and today off. That's it. So I have to start going back to work. I work Saturday, Sun Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, And God only knows what I'm working next, next week. So homemade enchiladas. For the first time. I haven't had an enchilada in a long time, I can think. Yes. So. Kayla, I have walked that thing a hundred times before I moved up here. So that is my spot. I love hiking up there. I've already hiked all the trails. Um, that is a very nice place. Yeah, I could literally walk to the Greylock Glen. It's that close to me. So, 
Um, but I don't feel like walking all the way up that mountain to get to the parking lot. No thanks. I would die. So. I had shepherd's pie the other day. My mother-in-law makes a very nice shepherd's pie. So I'm usually eating that. So. <sighs> what else? What else is going on here? Stank. I don't eat stank. I think it's disgusting. No, thank you. I've had shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. It's my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. So, yep. I feel bad that I'm eating well. I feel bad because I know a lot of people are like running out of food. So I'm kind of, I'm very grateful for what I have. Trust me. So, but sometimes I kind of feel guilty because you hear it all over the news. So, yeah. Uh, let me do something that I haven't done in a while uh, on my show here. In the beginning, I would show people uh, the numbers. And... Uh, I have not looked at this in a while, so it's pretty freaky. It's pretty freaky, so I'm going to share the page, or share my screen, I should say, so I can show everyone. I don't know if people can see that. Oh, there we are. Look at that. I love technology when it works. Have you noticed certain things on the show just work. I never have any problems or technical issues or anything like that. I absolutely love it. So, yeah. So there you go. There's the numbers. Um, they've kind of changed it. They've changed it. So the red, which is 3,251,925 total confirmed in the world. And then in the white, you have 233,014 people have died. That's globally. And then in the blue here at the end, that is just for the United States. Those are the number of tests that have been done so far. Over 6 million tests. That is crazy. So... Yeah. And as you can see down at the bottom there, it says the day and the time that this was reported. So, because it's constantly reported. So, there you have it. Love that information. Absolutely scary times. So, and they say it's coming again. That's what I don't, it's, I'm just trying to fathom what's going to happen come November, December, you know, when the flu starts, because then people are going to be fighting off the flu too. So <sighs> my job has already told me and everyone that we will be wearing a mask in the store for at least a year. So I'm like, oh my God. I hate wearing masks. I absolutely am. So anyways, all right. Back to me. So yeah. Yeah. 
second wave is supposed to be starting fall or something like in that time frame or whatever when coronas will come out again so yeah Yep. So it'll be the flu season and it'll be COVID season at the same time is what they're worried about. So, yeah. Tyler, I absolutely agree. <laughs> um, I have to wear it at work, otherwise I'm fired. That's pretty much what it comes down to because when I was told that I had to wear a mask, I didn't know anything about it. And I walk in and they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to wear a mask from now on when you work until further notice. And I was like, yeah, no, it, I'm not wearing a mask. And she goes, oh, well then that means that's your, you're resigning your position. Is that what you're telling me? And I'm like, are you serious? I have to wear a mask or get fired. So I'm like, whatever. So, but it is what it is. I need the paycheck. I need the money. So I'm wearing a mask. I'm doing the best that I can with it. But um, I didn't for a while. I haven't until just last, just Monday. Monday, I started wearing a mask. So I haven't been wearing a mask at all this whole time. I've been walking in the stores. I've been, you know, I don't, I don't understand it. So, but, but anyways, pretty much they want those essential workers wearing them. So, and I don't blame them because, you know, you got to keep going. Got to keep the lights on, so to speak. So, I did my two weeks, which was boring. Oh, my God. I was so bored during that two week. I didn't leave the house at all. Ugh. Yeah, Dan, uh, you know, I could say I agree, but then again, you're going to get people that disagree and obviously say that you know yes masks are important so it's hard i don't feel like i should wear one because i haven't worn one since this whole thing started so and now i'm just having to wear one so and it's not like the customer is not interacting with me yeah i have a shield up so i have a piece of plexiglass so in case you know they have to stand in the square it's on the floor in tape so um but i'm still touching their money i'm they're taking the receipts from me i'm you know so it's i'm scanning their cards so it's not like i'm not making contact with them so i don't know i'm pretty sure i would have gotten it already I'm not saying that I won't, but, you know, I've been lucky so far. But it's fine because I have cool masks. So my friend's brother made, made some Star Wars masks. And I have, I think the Mar Marvels or something characters. So if I'm going to have to wear one, I might as well be in style. So, I'd like a nice Michael Core one. That would be nice. So, but I'll settle for these. I don't want to wear the medical-looking things. So, and the N95 masks or whatever, people are, I guess, blacking out, not breathing right. Um, what was it, New Jersey? Somebody fell asleep because they couldn't breathe or something happened and crashed their car. So... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Thank you. So, yeah. It's 
true. Everyone's different, I guess. So. Absolutely. Maybe I'm a spreader. Uh-oh. That wouldn't be good. I hope not. No, I'm not. I don't think, no, I don't think I am, so. I hope not to get it. If I got it, I would be screwed. Just letting you know that. So it does kind of sit in the back of my head all the time thinking about if I get it. You figure, sadly, I'm a smoker. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but I am. Um, so it would hit me hard. So I'm worried, so to speak. So... So yeah, so the mindset of thinking that I'm going to get it is always there. So, But I still go about my day. I still go to work, come home. So, so yeah. But anyways, other than that, Kayla, are you still there? You better be. I'm trying to think of things to do for the show for come summer months when it gets warm. I'm thinking a lot of places are not going to be busy. So maybe that would be the perfect opportunity for me to um, go places and film and do live shows from places. So I'm trying to think of places I can go. That would be pretty cool to go live from. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. So I'd like to start doing that now that it's starting to get warmer. So I think that would be interesting. So Nick, hello, Nick. One week nicotine free. Good for you, sir. Good for you. I know I'm I'm due. It's coming. I just want to want to quit. So and I think I'm getting to that point. Haunted places, that's a good idea. Considering you have been visiting some places there, Kayla, why don't you tell everybody where you went? So, waterfalls, that's another one. So, yeah, I could do that. Only because I have the equipment now, which is pretty cool, so... I got my little... Uh, selfie motivated electric uh whatever what do you call it selfie stick i guess or whatever so hiking yes i you know i have not hiked in a very long time so my problem is is i'm getting fat because i'm, I'm eating too many cookies so damien calls me al fudge because i've been eating a whole lot of cookies lately but what else was i supposed to eat so uh, hiking is a very good idea. So so Kayla went to the abandoned Belchertown State School for the feeble-minded. Is that the real title of that place? The feeble-minded? What does that even mean? So I know she posted pictures, so check them out if you want to. I think that would be a good idea. I'll have to see what the weather is going to be like on Thursdays. So, wow. The Belchertown State School for the feeble minded. Sounds creepy, Kayla. It really does. <laughs> so, yeah. I do want to go to places like that. I would love to check out places, but I think I would be too scared. That's my problem. 
I don't know if I'd want to do it. That's why I don't do haunted houses. So maybe if there was a group of people, maybe I would go. I watch a lot of those videos on uh, YouTube where, you know, they check out all these abandoned like malls and that'd be something different because it's like an open space or whatever. But these creepy places that they go, I would never do it by myself. So no, thank you. Salem. I went to Salem. I did go to Salem. I don't know if anyone knows that story, but, uh, a long time ago, um, I brought, I went to Salem with someone um, to do a show. And um, that was a total disaster. I'll never go there ever again. I don't know. Maybe I will, but it was just a total disaster. So, yeah, uh, we were supposed to do the radio show from Salem. Um, and it just didn't end up working very well uh, where we wanted to have it because it was too busy. I, we were supposed to be live from the cemetery that's right there in the middle of town. So that didn't happen because it was very busy. So we had to do the show outside of, is it the Natick Mall or the Framingham Mall or something like that in the middle of the parking lot. So that didn't go very well. So maybe I will have to go again. Um I would love to go there. So, uh, Tyler, I don't even know if Damien would even do it. I don't think he would. So, he's got a problem getting on boats. I doubt very much that he's going to go um, with me on those. So, that would be cool if he did. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'll have to ask him. So, he does like, he will go places with me. Um, Damien, I, uh, one other time we had to go to Exeter, New Hampshire, uh, for the Brian and Cherry show. We were supposed to meet one of the guests that was on the show at the time, some author about UFOs, because that was the first place for UFO sightings. So they have a, uh, annual <laughs> festival all the time. So we were supposed to go up there. So yeah, uh, Damien drove us up there. It was about three hour drive. Never met the guy. And then I did the radio show live from outside of a um, Quiznos in the Quiznos parking lot up there. It was horrible. So, yeah, that was the uh, UFO annual UFO festival. Yeah, that was something else. So. Beaches, um, I really don't go to the beach. I don't even know what you're talking about, Kayla. I don't go to the beach for what? I don't live near one. So Hampton Beach, I've been there. I've actually stayed in Hampton Beach. It's really nice. So, yeah, I did that once. I think when I first met Damien, we went up there. Uh, I had never been there. So I do like going there. Yep, Kayla, it was the uh, Exeter, New Hampshire, and it was the fifth annual Alien Festival. That was just crazy. <coughs> don't worry, I don't have COVID, okay? So... Um, Cape Cod, yeah. So I had never been to Cape Cod, and I went to Cape Cod, and actually I did a radio show from Cape Cod. That one didn't turn out very well either because the recep reception of where I was um, kept cu cutting me in and out, so people were really not able to watch me. I don't even know if that show still exists. I wonder if it does. I'd love to watch it again. Uh, that was pretty nice. So I know someone said mentioned somewhere else. Oh, 
Oh boy. Tim, how are you? Kayla, are you going to come to these spooky places with me? Would you do that? I'd love to take Ashley along with me. Wouldn't that be fun, Ash, to visit these locations? So, because, well, it, the other thing is, so I forgot to mention, which I'm trying so hard. Um, maybe, Timmy, you can help me with this. Um, I have been trying to get Damien to buy a drone. I really want a drone. And he's been looking at one, but it's like a thousand something dollars. It's really expensive. So I've been trying to get him to get it because it's this awesome, awesome drone and I really want it. So I would love to play around with those while going out and about uh, on location places. So because people know I'll go anywhere. So. Tyler, I have never been to Niagara Falls. I've always wanted to go. I've been trying to get him to go places, but, you know, uh, with Damien's work schedule, it's, it's difficult to kind of just throw something out and do do something. So um, I do have a passport, so I would love to use my passport. He knows that. But the problem is, is I want to do a cruise, and for some reason he keeps just putting it off. So I don't think Damien wants to get on a big boat with me. So. Well, the thing is, I don't want to fly it. I don't. I know he wants one. So I've been trying to encourage the sale. Like, oh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And we can do this. And so I'm trying to get him to get it. I really want it. Uh, maybe I'll get one for Christmas or something. But anyways. Well, this one is where it has sensors all around it, so it can't um, crash. It doesn't uh, bump into anything. It knows when something's uh, within its proximity or whatever. Um, it's easy landing, um, easy takeoff. So I was like, oh, okay, a kindergarten can use this, but it's so sophisticated with 4K cameras. I'm like, are you serious? This thing is beautiful. I really want it. So, but anyways, yeah, uh, Niagara Falls, I've always wanted to go there. So, yeah, I still plan on going to Chicago next year. I hope that can happen. And this whole crazy COVID crap is long gone and I can travel, whatever. Um, I'm still wanting to go to Chicago and meet author Sylvia Schultz, who was on the Brian and Sherry show, as you know. So she is a paranormal author, and I've always wanted to meet her because she's in, what, Peoria? So. Nope, I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure, Tyler. It's just a matter of time, so... Yeah. I don't know why you don't have sound, Ashley. That's not my problem. Refresh the uh, video if you're having problems, so... I only have 10 minutes more to go, so... So, yeah. So, if anyone else has any ideas on where I should go or what I should do for the summer and the fall... I don't mind going out in the fall. Let me know. I will definitely have to. Hancock Shaker Village. I want to see you churn butter. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That would be an experience and a half. I think a lot of people would tune in for that, wouldn't they? Oh, my goodness. I've never been there either. So there's another place I could go. Once places start opening up. So I love farm animals. 
a Macau person, so I wouldn't mind going there and seeing that. I've driven by enough, so yeah. Um, I probably would not milk the cow, Kayla. <laughs> no, thank you. So, yeah. I know how it's done, but no, thank you. I'm not going to do that. No. I'm not running a uh, Jack Hanna web series. That's not me. The Lizzie Borden House... Um, if I had to travel all the way down there, what is it, near Fall River, I believe, or something like that, which is pretty far out there, um, I'd probably stay out there. So I wouldn't mind going to the Lizzie Borden house. Yeah, absolutely. That would be nice. That would be cool. So absolutely. But the problem is, <laughs> because now I have to think of other things to film now because I was supposed to be going to Disney in May for the first time. I've never been to the Flower and Garden show and I would have loved to have seen it. So I was supposed to do a couple of shows down there and go live for you guys, which I thought would be pretty cool. But unfortunately, they are closed so I had to cancel my trip, my reservations, everything. So I'm pretty down about it. So I'm hoping that December is still on because I'm supposed to be going in December. So at least you'll have that to look forward to. But that's not until December. So I got to fill in this time in between. So I'm trying to think of things to do. So sitting here in this chair for some reason just is getting boring to me. So I want to change things up. That's what I'd like to do. So like I said, I'm open to suggestions. So, yeah. And as a reminder, you can like and share my video. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. However, don't take it apart and don't use it uh, against me, please. So there's my warning. I'm being nice about it. So there was a ravine up in Burlington. That would be nice. Yeah. So anyways, uh, I hope everyone had a good time. And I said everything correctly. I wasn't out of place or rude. <laughs> so. Well, that's your own problem, Ashley. Oh, well, you're going to have to rewatch what you missed. So now my problem, I'm not repeating it. So, but anyways, the weekend is here. Tomorrow is Friday. So hopefully everyone will have a fantastic uh, weekend. So I will be working. So please think of me and Nikki. Nikki Jones will be working as well. So that's right, Tim. Freedom of speech. And yeah, I love it. But you got to be careful because it could be used against you, <laughs> which happened to me. So and I don't feel like going through that again. I really don't. But. I gave a disclaimer at the beginning of my show. If you don't like what I say, don't watch it. But don't take it apart and try using it against me. I'm done with that shit. It's old news. So, but anyways, have a fantastic weekend. So, no thank you, Kayla, for being a fantastic customer. So, yeah. That is it. I'm going to go now. So don't stay bored. Do something. Build a puzzle or something. Paint. Read a book. You can always read a book. In fact, if you go to my website, which is 
briansheppardshow.com, I believe. Uh, you can check out a lot of information. There's a lot of author books on there. If you want to read something, you want to buy something, go for it. So, yeah. Yes, Tyler, this show is copyrighted, so don't try any foolish crap. Um, go to the website. There's some shopping on there. Shop on there. Shop on my website. People are home. So shop on my website. I have good things. So, um, yeah. That's it. So I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I will see you again on Thursday. So maybe somewhere else. Maybe I won't be here. You never know. So, yeah. Oh, I see people are going to my website. It tells me. Fantastic. That's right, Tyler. Free Joe Exotic. Yes, because Carol Baskin, she killed her husband. She fed him to the tigers. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's gone. So, goodbye, Kayla. And, uh, oh, Ariel, hello. My sister Ariel from Maine. Hello. And goodbye. You'll have to rewatch it. Hello to my nephews up there. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go binge watch something. I don't know what. Maybe some Angry Grandma on YouTube. Does anybody else watch that? Angry Grandma? I love those. Yeah, you don't care. I don't even know why I mentioned that. All right. Look at that. Daniel Payton. If you need to pick up Legacy of Dragon One, book one, it's only 99 cents on Amazon. And technically, you could go to our website and click on the cover of his book in the books and authors section. It'll take you right to Amazon so you can buy it. So... <laughs> Kayla, I am not going to bed. I am staying up, girl. So, all right, everyone, that is it. Maybe I'll go to bed. I don't know. But now I'm getting fuzzy. I don't like this. All right. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Have a good night. Have a great weekend. I will talk to you next week. Goodbye.